Spend it, spend it, spend it, spend it. the stars, I need a Ferrari. Could be juice, but I need me a lot. I'm about to ride it like fuck a Bugatti. I see a baddie, I'm beating her body. She call me daddy, but I call her daddy. She a daddy. She a tamale. All right, and welcome to part two of the mobile guy. This is going to be more advanced. This, I'm going to be showing you guys more combat tips and things that I just didn't go over in the last one. So yeah, this is going to be a pretty quick one. Hopefully, you guys do enjoy this. I am a mobile YouTuber, as you guys can see. So if you guys just want to be a part of the grind, just you know, show me some support and just you know, see some good mobile content, some good mobile gameplay from somebody that you can relate to. Subscribe to the channel. I can show you guys some some good content, some quality mobile content, something that you probably haven't even seen before. So hey, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's get into the video. All right. So the first thing I'm going to go over, which is really quick, I'm going to show you guys how you guys can get out of the tutorial without having to finish it. So basically what you guys want to do is just go to the teleport place you guys see at the bottom right. Just go to the teleport place. You guys see where the square is at the bottom. Just tap it. If you guys tap it and it turns blue, that means it's going to teleport you to the tutorial and tap the box again. And when it goes clear, that means it's not going to teleport you. So let's just try it real quick. So I'm going to fill it up. And now this means that it's going to teleport me to the tutorial. Now, when I tap it again to unfill it, now that means it's going to take us to the main game. And this is exactly what you guys want to do to get out of the tutorial. All right, and the second thing I'm going to be going over, and this is something I did go over in the last, in my first tutorial, but people are still in the comment section asking. So, like, I don't know. I guess apparently I just didn't. I don't know, bro. I guess I didn't go over it well, whatever. So I'm gonna go over the entire menu system again one more time, all right? So let me just show you guys. So the first thing you wanna do, just tap wherever on your screen. Just hold down on the screen. So let's hold down the screen and the first menu should pop up. It should, just, it should pop up just like this. It has your settings, your inventory. This is where you guys can see your rank. Uh, let's tap on that. And then next to it is the game pass options. And then this is where you guys can create a party. All right, like I said, if you guys want to pull up that, just, just tap and hold on the screen one time and it should pop up. And then if you guys want to get it off your screen, tap and hold again. Boom. Simple. Very simple. All right. Now, the second thing you guys can pull up is the carry and execute menu. All right. So let me pull it up real quick. What you guys want to do is double tap the screen. Double tap and hold it. On the second tap, hold it down. First tap and then second tap. Hold on. I'm going to stop messing up. I'm going to lie. One, two there you go it pops up just like that okay the one on the top the icon on the top of the skull this is where you guys can carry people this is what you guys use to carry people this is what you guys can use at the first quest to pick up the little girl or whatever pause and now the second one the skull is obviously the execute button all right so keep that in mind that is how you guys can carry and execute i went over this on the first one but apparently again i didn't announce it I, I don't know i'm just going over it one more time so people can stop asking me in the comments and then you guys want to if you guys want to get it off your screen just double tap and hold it again one two and now it's gone all right now the third thing you guys can do let me pull out my sword how you guys can customize your gui what you guys will do is triple tap and hold the screen one two three hold and boom now the buttons are blue when they are blue that means you can move these around any way you choose to i already have it in a way that i want so i'm not going to go over that right now but just shoot just set it to wherever place that you guys want it and once you guys are done with that triple tap and hold it again one two three hold and now it's to turn back to the regular colors when it turns when it turns back to the regular colors that means that you have officially set the move another thing i'm going to be going over real quick how to enter a code what you guys want to do is pull up your regular menu and put away my sword pull up your regular menu which is the first thing so tap and hold okay now once this menu is up go to the third icon which is this little book once you guys pull this up you guys will see at the bottom type code here whatever code that's in you guys just want to put it in and then once you guys put it in the code section, press the mid code and it should go through all right all right with those out of the way we can finally get to some actual combat bro right? oh man oh my god well, i literally went over those in the first one but i guess i didn't i don't know maybe i didn't say it right i don't know whatever but all right now we can get over some actual uh combat so uh the first thing i'm gonna be going over for you guys real quick a lot of people have been saying that it's an m1 bug and i can also i can actually relate to that uh there is times and during a game where your m1s literally just stop working and when when it does work there is no fix to that you guys literally just gotta respawn not respawn but you have to re uh rejoin the entire server you gotta close out the entire game and then re uh reopen it which is you know it's it's uh, it's dumb and it's 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 uh it's annoying but hey if you guys want to fix it that's what you got to do there's no other fix in game to fix it there's also a bug where it literally freezes you in your tracks and you can't move around at all but 
you know, it just, it's, it's whatever, bro. You, just, you can't do anything about it. The only way you guys can fix it is if you guys just rejoin the entire game. So that's all I can really tell you about that one. Now for this section, I'm gonna be going over some auto combos for you guys. So let's find a little boss real quick. All right, now the first auto combo, I'm gonna show you guys how to air combo. I did go over this in the first tutorial, but I'm just gonna be going over it real, one more time, bro, one more time, all right? So first thing you wanna do, let's just block real quick and block all those. Now the auto combo, left, right, left, right, left, throw you in the air, and that's how you guys can do an air combo, okay? Now the second auto combo you guys can do is this one. This is the one that also every other katana has. Every breathing, not every breathing katana shows it up differently, so it might be a little different. This is just the insect, the insect katana's little version of it. But to do the uh, the second auto combo, let me just block one more time. What you guys want to do is left, left, right, left, right, and it should give you some type of, you know, some type of a uh, little uh, combo move or whatever. That's the insect katana's move. That's why. So your katana might not look as well as that. So let's just switch it out so I can show you guys another example. So now I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like on Giyu's katana. So let's just go over over to that one real quick. Um, okay. What are you what you want to do? Let me just block all these real quick. And like I said, it, it should come up different. Left, left, right, left, right. See, it's different for every sword, different for li every, literally every sword. So that's just the one I ch I, that comes up for the insect katana. But like I said, everyone, each sword is different. So that's how you guys can do some some different little auto combos. The last one is, let me just switch back to my insect katana. Now the last one, let's just get an NPC real quick. All right, so once you guys got an NPC to try it out on, block all these. Now it's right, right, left, right, left. And it should give you another auto combo just like that. Those are the three top auto combos in the game as of right now. There, there are no different ones. But yeah, those are the three main auto combos, okay? So you guys can use these combo up, try to get you, you know, try to, I don't know. I mean, that shit, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, those are the auto combos. You guys were asking me in the comment section the last one how to do some auto combos, so that's how you guys can do it. The main one was the air combo. I did go over how the air combo in the tutorial, but I guess people just don't watch all the way through. I, whatever, I can't. You know, whatever. It is what it is. All right. Another thing I want to go over: how to aim moves. A lot of people have been telling me that their moves that they literally cannot aim their moves, and I can honestly relate to that. And when I first started playing the game, I did not know how to aim the moves. But so I'm gonna be just giving you guys an ex an advanced tutorial on how you guys can aim your moves. You feel me? I did. I didn't want to go over this, but in the first uh, mobile guide, I didn't have any breathing, so I, I kind of couldn't. But now I can. All right. So what you what you guys want to do with whatever breathing style that you hate, that you guys have? When you guys tap on the icon, you need to hold it down all right so let me just use this with water surface slash which is the first move of water breathing hold it down it should put you in a move just like this all right now once you are in something a form that looks like i just messed up but once you're in a form that looks something like that let me just use another move uh let's use water serpent now once you guys are in the loading are in a loading that looks just like this you guys can literally move around okay it doesn't last forever so that's why it's going through but you can literally move it around like this okay by holding down on it and then sliding your finger off of the icon all right so long as you don't move your finger off of the entire phone screen it should let you load up and move around all right so once you're in this right here, this is where you guys can aim it. This red square right here in the middle of the character, that's where you're you're supposed to be aiming at, all right? So like I said, let's use Waterfall Basin. This is a ranged move. So what you guys want to do, get it, and then aim it at your target like this, and then go, boom, just like that. Simple, all right? Simple. Very simple. The key to aiming your move is not by... It's by gaining control over your move, okay? It's by gaining control, holding it down, and just, you know... You got it. You got. You really got to control your move, bro. But the only downside is, don't take too long when you're trying to aim it. All right, because people are gonna. Every move on here is is cancelable. All right, so don't try to. Don't hold it down so long that people can literally cancel your move. Right, just you know, just get it. Just use the move a lot and move. Use your breathing a lot and practice with it a lot. And as you practice with it, it should become easier to aim it. So now I can do it, kind of quick. You know, because I, I I started practicing. You know, waterfall basin. But I still got some work to do. Like I just missed right there. You know, I still got, I got a little bit of work to do. But you know, like I said, you got to you got to work on yourself. You got to work on yourself. You got to practice it so you guys can get it down. So you can literally get it down. If, and all right, another thing I want to go over that people didn't even ask me for, but Indomitable Will. 
if you guys have a clan that does allow you to get indomitable will which is a uh basically a secondary uh combo extender you guys will find out that kind of trying to combo it is really hard because you have to switch back to the mold and then use the move and then switch back to your source and continue it so what i'm just going to be showing you guys is how you guys can make it a little bit easier on you to combo with you so once you got what you guys want to do is first let's go to indomitable will all right and then triple tap the screen and hold it one two three and when it turns blue, move your indomitable, uh, indomitable will icon closer down here, okay? Once you guys get it closer down here, this is that this means that you have less work to do when in terms of just clicking the move itself. Don't move it too far down here because I had a bug, not a bug, but it got to the point for me where I moved it so far down here that it didn't even work anymore because I guess I don't know. I don't know why I didn't make the game. But if you guys move it a little bit right here, like this is this is like the main area you guys should really put it at. Because this is where you can use it with no bugs, no problems at all. And this is how you guys just practice just practice with it. And I promise you eventually you will get it. So let me show you guys how you guys can do it real quick. Triple tap. All right, now it's done. All right, so let's use the NPC really quick so I can show you guys how easy it does get. Before, it wasn't as easy because the Indomitable, Indomitable Will move was literally on top of my screen and I could barely get to it in time. So uh, now I can get to it pretty easy. How did this NPC just hit me? Whatever. Let's block this real quick. All right, and then put him in the air combo. Left, right, left, right, left. Indomitable Will. What the heck? Oh, my fucking block all these. Okay. Left, right, left, right left and dominable what the fuck you know what i'm not i'm not going over it no more i'm not i don't care i don't i don't care i don't care i don't care i don't care i'm not gonna do this with this bro nah not today bro these mobile controls gotta go <laughs> these these mobile controls gotta go bro i'm not doing it i'm not doing it all right i, I hope that helps you out but i'm not trying to i'm not gonna sit here all day and try to get this damn example bro it's not happening i'm not doing it today i can't all right this game has already made me mad enough i'm not doing it all right last thing i'm going over is how to defeat some bosses now i'm gonna be showing you guys a little easy way you guys can do it which is just come up here every boss has a ledge that you can go up and once you find a little ledge of space that is needed so the boss can't hit you so for like uh, every boss is different but i'm pretty sure the uh the highest you, you should only have to come up like this far up and then you should be all right but for this boss this boss doesn't have any like you know moves for real so i guess i don't really have to worry about it for this one but pretty much what you guys need for this is a ranged move so thunder breathers you know i'm pretty sure wind can use it to an extent water breathers can definitely use it because water serpent has literally unlimited range but once you guys are up in a little ledge just use your whatever range we have i have water serpent so let's use it and then literally just do that all right and if you guys just use this method the entire time and if you combine it with some friends you should be able to get this uh get some bosses done really fast but um that's the first this is the first method that you guys can do to make it easier on yourself so you, do, you really don't got to do a lot of work the second method that i like to do um when it comes down to like the harder bosses this boss isn't hard at all but when it comes down to the harder bosses what i like to do is something like this i like to go down do my main combo and then as soon as i'm doing the combo i go back up to my little ledge and i let myself heal up again because i'm probably going to take a little bit of damage but that's all right you know but like I said, main thing I do is just do my little combo, get my little damage off, and then go back up and heal up. And then I go back down and do it all over again. You guys need to do it at a consistent rate to where they don't heal up. Just like this boss is it. This boss literally just healed up. So, yeah, just like I said, do it consistently and you should be all right. So, let's just go over it really quick. All right, so I'm going to drop down. Uh, let's start off with water and basin. One, two, three, four. Okay, water serpent one two three four oh i messed up get out of that and then this is usually the point that i would go back up to the left because now my breathing isn't even maxed out but this boss isn't hard so i guess i'm just not gonna i'm not gonna do that this time constant flux all right breathe up a little bit since i got room Uh, water basin, knock him down. One, two, three, four. Serpent. One, two, three, four. Bink, bink. 
uh, breathe up and I should one shot them right here water surface slash and boom that's done literally just like that um I didn't really go over the main method that I would use on a stronger boss because I'm pretty used to that boss that boss isn't hard at all but like I said for the bosses that are kind of hard like Giyu or the other ones you, you might want to use the first method or the second method which is just use a water serpent or your range move and just sticking on a ledge you can do that or you guys can just go down or do your one combo and then hop back up to a ledge that's pretty much it for the part two of the mobile guide hopefully you guys did enjoy i went over a little bit of gameplay stuff um yeah uh, i got a lot of videos today so let's just get these bad boys done i'll see you guys when i see you peace